Okay, so hello everyone. So um, before I proceed with making more videos on how to make uh, model edits, I've decided that maybe I should bring up some of the bugs and glitches that I've encountered using the different tools that I've been using. So uh, one of the main bugs, for example, that I've encountered with the Magos model or editor is the disappearance of some important particles. So as you can see here, you have the so-called uh, green particles, basically, particle emitters. So uh, in case uh, you're wondering, these particle emitters are responsible for the um, guts exploding upon the death of the unit. So unfortunately, the Magos model editor doesn't show this. So for example, if you play the death animation, you won't see any guts. But for example, here in the um, world editor, you can see here, upon death, the Hippogriff Rider explodes into guts. So basically, that's what these um, particles are for. Unfortunately, as I've mentioned before, you can't see them in the Magos model editor. But anyways, one of the problems here is that if you save for example, I were to make edits on this model. Uh, so let's make a simple edit. For example, I'm going to change the internal name. So from read and hippogriff into hippogriff rider. And then for example, I'm going to save it as a new file .mdx. Okay. So apparently it seems like there's no problem however if i were to reload this file so this is the old file this is the file that i just saved you will notice that the green particles have disappeared so again this is a problem because if you were to um, import it into the uh, world editor in game and even here in the world editor the guts will no longer appear upon the death of the unit so one way to get around this disappearing green particles is let's go back to the original model this one is that you have to save this file as an mdl instead of an mdx file so for example let's repeat the change that we've made hippogriff rider but this time instead of directly saving it as an mdx file we'll save it as a uh, as an mdl file okay okay so now if we were to reload the mdl file you can see that the green particles are preserved but you need to remember that the world editor has to use the mdx file so in order unfortunately as i mentioned before if i were to save this as an mdx file using the magos model editor what happens is that after i reload it the particles are no longer there so one way to get around this is using another um modeling tool so it's called the mdlx converter so what it's going to do is it's going to convert the mdl file into an mdx file so for example so click convert then i'm going to click the mdl file it's automatically going to uh, convert this into an mdx file so it basically it's automatically going to convert this uh, automatically overwrite this file as well so you need to be careful when using this so i'm going to convert the mdl version of the file that i've just made there converted then if i were to load the new file here so as you can see now see uh, the name change i made was the internal name change that i've made was saved and at the same time the green particles are also preserved okay 
So I guess that's one of the bugs and glitches I've encountered using the Magos model editor. And I'll be back for more. See you next time.